Good morning, people, and welcome back to my channel. It's China Doll here. So for the last day um, here in Jamaica, we well, I'm going to be going to the pool, hanging out at the pool at the beach, and then um, later on for dinner, we're going to be going to two restaurants. So we're going to go first to the um, Latin restaurant, which is um, called Zuka. We're also going to be going eating at the Greek restaurant called Odessa. Um, so we're trying to cram and do almost all the restaurants here because they have 12 restaurants on property. Yes, it's a lot. And to try to do all that in four days is a challenge. But we've been doing pretty good because we've been jumping from restaurant to restaurant, like a restaurant crawl, basically. Um, and then at night, we're going to go see the fire show. And then the next day when we leave, I'll show you guys Club Mobe is my first time going there. But it's one of the lounges that they have at the airport in Jamaica that you can relax and get drinks and food before you board your flight. So I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, guys. So we're about to go into the spa. It's called the Red Lane Spa and Salon. It's not even a far walk because literally the lobby was right here. Like a one minute walk <laughs> and we're right here to the spa. All right, I'm trying to be quick because there's nobody here and before someone comes in, but they do have like sinks, toilets. Um, over here, they do have a locker room. Um, you can store your stuff if you need to, but I didn't really bring too much stuff. And then on this side, they have towels and if you need a razor, those dirty ones there when you're done. And then over here, showers they have three showers and in the very back is the steam room so if you want to go in there oh. Oh, steam room. <laughs> and a quick look into the shower room here in the spa it's very spacious because like my bathroom this is pretty cool so as soon as i left the woman's locker room like this is one of the main courtyards um I'm going to show you that you can use the pool here. So on this section, they have their main pool. Look, you have little seating areas, towels. And it's, it's so nice. It's very peaceful and quiet. So, but then in that corner is the men's locker room. And then toward the right is the uh, hot tub over there. They got two of them. Um, so these are like the rooms if you want to book a appointment to get a massage done where they have single rooms and they do have double rooms i believe that's what she told me earlier um but we're gonna go and take a peek see just really quick as like one one, one this is what like one what one of the rooms look like here a little peek and then um there's more of the courtyard we're gonna make one quick lap around the place and see we're gonna get to really quick look at what the main um suite looks like it does include a little mini hot tub if you guys are interested Here's a closer look of the Red Lane Spa. Like I was telling you, they have two jacuzzis over here. Um, still waiting for Bali. He's still sitting in the steam room for a while, so I'm wait till enjoying. But look, this is so cool. Like it's like you have it to yourself because there's like hardly anybody here. Maybe like two or three people. Um, so it's very quiet and relaxing if you just want a day to just chill and not be away from the where most of the crowds are. Um, they're currently at the main pool and the beach area. Alright guys, so today is going to be a beach and pool day. Uh, we're just going to be chilling out. The water, I mean like, yeah, the water is probably kind of cold right now, but <laughs> ah, it is cold. Um, it's still cloudy, overcast, kind of like when I was flying my drone this morning, but I thought the sun would come out brighter, but hey, at least it's not like, like pouring rain, you know? So I won't be in here tomorrow because like I said the water's freezing. I'm gonna head over to the pool area in a second because they have like a, a jacuzzi and an infinity pool. So. Alright guys, so we're gonna go into the pool now. Oh pool water is colder than the ocean water, but I'm just gonna go dip in the pool all the way down and then go to the water end of the infinity pool. So like these um i guess you can call them bed by the pool i think they're only yeah it says only for the butler suite so if you have a butler suite you can get one of these over here it's so cool so now this is the end of the pool it's like i said it's the infinity pool and then that back there is the ocean 
I'm like literally the only person in the pool right now because it is freezing. But I just want to check. I like how at the end it's like a glass see-through wall for the end of the infinity pool. But as you can see, there is nobody else here but me. You can also play basketball in the pool. There is a swimming bar, but it's not currently open right now. And we're gonna go check out the other side of the, because there's two pools you can use here. But first, since I'm on this side, I want to check out the uh, jacuzzi and see if it's warm because I told you this pool is freezing. All right, so now we're gonna go in the jacuzzi. Oh my God, it is warm. It feels really good. But I'm not gonna stay too long in here because then when I go back to the other pool, I'm gonna freeze again. Let's go behind one of these jets because then that way is like a little massage. <sighs> oh yeah. <laughs> I love it. It's like I told you, I have it to myself because most of the people are like laying down on the chairs. I'm like the only crazy one in this freezing pool, but they have this warm jacuzzi. So you wanna relax, have the jets go on your back. It's like a little minute massage. <laughs> all right so we're back at the other pool and that wasn't a good idea to go in the jacuzzi and then back into the other pool but there you go gotta get used to it again and freeze um now going on this bridge where you can walk over to the lashing waters cocktail and bubbly so that is a bar and on top is the lounge where i hung out for a little bit the first time i came here and then you can do volleyball on this side and then on that end is another uh, infinity pool so but now i'm used to it again <laughs> i wish it was heated but you know If I can shoot this with one hand. All right, guys. So we're gonna eat at the Greek restaurant, it's called Edessa. These are their appetizers, their entrees, and there's like so many to choose from. So I'm actually gonna get three of these. And then these are their desserts. And like I always tell you, every restaurant we go to has a view. <laughs> okay, so our server just brought out some pita bread, and I forgot the sauce, I'm so horrible. Zuki. No, tzatziki. See, there you go, that's the sauce. I can never pronounce the word right. That's the sauce you can dip in with. They gave us uh, three pieces of pita bread, so we're gonna dig in before all the chicken. Okay, for appetizers, I had got the uh, chicken uh, soup. Um, I had got the mussels and also the salad. Um, everything looks so good so far. Like I said, we ordered so much from each category, appetizer, entree, and dessert, so let's dig in. All right, guys, so our entree has arrived. The first dish is the lamb chops. It comes with two lamb chops, the mashed potatoes, and broccoli and carrots. Over here, I got the two lobster tails. And it's funny, Bao ordered two plates of lobster tails, so he's so greedy. He got four lobster tails. I'm like, oh my god. Really? <laughs> and then that is the sea boss in the middle for fish. <laughs> So for dessert, we have the baklava, and this is what it looks like. I don't think I ever had this, I just wanted to try it because it's a different dessert than what I'm used to. Okay, so for dinner tonight, we're going to be checking out Zuka, which is their Latin restaurant. So I'll show you guys what we're about to eat when we go in. Okay, so this is a look of the menu. The front is the starters, appetizers, the main entrees, and then on the back is their desserts and then their cocktails. So they said that this is their signature cocktail, but I still love mojitos. It's still my favorite, my to go drink. So, can't wait to see when the food comes out. That would be it. And I also really like the um, decorations and stuff inside this restaurant. It's so cool. Look at that. You see flamingos in the front. 
I don't know. It makes me feel like I'm in Costa Rica again. Like it has that vibe. Okay, for appetizers, we got the sopa de tortilla. There's one other soups. Um, I don't remember. I think that's cheese. I don't know. But I wanted to order something warm, so we both got the same exact dish for our appetizers. So, Bob had got the surf and turf. It comes with lobster, steak, sausages, mashed potatoes on the bottom. Um, for mine, I had got the rice and beans with the pork belly. So for desserts, we got one of each. The first one is the tres leches, and then the second one is like a guava pastillo. Um, and then Bao ordered the thing of this one. It looks like flan, yeah, but like I don't flan, know, like remember what's flan. flan. <laughs> 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 but they all look really good. <laughs> So after we left the Greek restaurant, we decided to go into the rum bar to try the oxtail sliders because I heard it was so good and there's no bones in it. So you get all the juicy tenderness from the slider. And then I got my mojito as my favorite drink here at the rum bar. Okay, so for tonight, um, we're going to be heading over to the beach area because it's at 9 o'clock tonight. They're having a fire show. So we're going to go check it out and I'll bring you guys along so you can see it with us. amazing like remember i was telling you about mario one of the employees that work here at the front of the resort he brought a special delivery to my room like i wasn't expecting that i mean i knew he was bringing me drinks but like i told him i was going to be back down in the lobby in 45 minutes let me get you know settled down and then all of a sudden my doorbell just rang i opened the door and look what he made like he made this himself like i forgot the name of the cocktails but they look so good and he brought in these little coconuts i was like oh that's so cool with the, he deck like the presentation the service wow like this is so cool i can't wait to try these but this looks so pretty and it looks delicious <laughs>
Okay, so we're gonna be going into Club OE, which is a departure lounge for the first time. Let's go. Okay, so we just got into the lounge. There's lots of seating area, a lot of outlets so you can plug and charge your phone. And then you can see the view when the planes arrive. Um, so we're down that way is where you get all the drinks and snacks. So we're gonna head over there now. So let's go. And then they also have a departure times for all the flights. So you want to keep, so you want to see what time or if it's delayed or canceled. You can see that on that screen. So we're gonna go get some drinks and food now. These are all the foods and snacks you get um, at the buffet. You see the pastries and then the fruits, ham and cheese. And then on this side, you can get little pancakes and waffles and scrambled eggs. Oh, it's cool. And then over there is oatmeal. If you want tea for hot water. And then of course, on this side is their open bar. Unfortunately, this vacation already came to an end. I had really fun. I got to do almost everything I wanted to do. The only thing is, we kind of wanted to do zip lining, but the most of the tours was like zip lining with other activities, and we only want to do zip lining, and most people didn't offer just zip lining by itself. So we'll just do that another time. Um, but overall, I had a fantastic stay. The weather was great the whole time. Not too hot, not too cold, and like the resort I stayed at was amazing. Like I said, only two little minor issues was like the Wi-Fi was not really working in the room, so I have to like go to the lobby or throughout the resort to use it like on my laptop and stuff or on my phone and then the lobby um, piano area like people were singing and I had music blasting really late to like 11 I think 11 12 o'clock so it's hard to sleep because it's so loud even though we're at the end of the last door hallway on the second floor you can still hear everything even with the door closed it's that loud um, but other than that I had fun I got to meet some new friends um, try a lot of good food like it was a great time. It was a good little short vacation. Um, and then did our ATV tour for one of the days. So we got a lot done within a couple of days. It was very fun. I can't wait till the next time I go back or for my next trip because you guys know I love to travel. But I hope you guys enjoyed this trip with me to Jamaica. If you do, give me a thumbs up, like, comment, share, subscribe. And see you next adventure. Bye.